What's going on, my friends? Action Figure Junkie. Back with you with another custom action figure made from Marauder Task Force parts and accessories. And this time, well, what do you know? Absolutely no Hasbro thrown in for good measure. But this is, uh, this is an homage. This is a current modern updated representation of uh, Recoil, the Long Range Repul Recon Patrol. Long Range Recon Patrol. Say that 10 times fast. Figure from uh, 1989. So let's see, what did I do here? What I did, I based it on the, the original recoil. I, like, I liked uh, the idea with the Zartan video. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm trying to get a picture in the background of who the figure is based on, essentially. So this guy's essentially based pretty much 100% on this uh, 1989 classic figure of recoil. Recoil's uh, primary military specialty was L. RRP, <laughs> not LARP, not, not uh, live action role play, but long range recon patrol. So basically that dude went, you know, pretty far out into the bush, deep into enemy territory to uh, face danger and tackle Cobra head on. So I had him back in uh, 89. He was one of my favorite figures. So I decided I wanted to make a current uh, updated version. So let's see, what do we got here? Marauder Task Force uh, body the... Uh, the tan version with the green uh, color accentuate, color contrast. I felt that went pretty good with uh, the original representation of uh, Recoil as he was pretty much a tan figure with uh, green accentuation. He had these really, this really cool like, uh, almost like technology looking camo if you can see in the picture there. Now I tried to replicate that as best as I could. Um, I didn't want to make it too too dark because I wasn't sure if I could do it. I've said it on these videos before and I'll say it again. Painting isn't necessarily my strong suit. I'm pretty good at uh, dry brush, but like actual uh, real detail painting, eh, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning. I, you know, I'll get better as I go along. Maybe uh, if I really like what I did here, I'll go back in and put it in with a different color. But you can see it's on his body there. Let's zoom, let's, uh, zoom in a little bit. See? It's there. It's barely there. I might go back in and put it again. I did actually try painting his hands brown <laughs> and his feet brown. If you could see in the original brown hands, brown feet. And after I did it, I felt like he looked like he was... Uh, playing around in feces all day. So I decided to uh, wash it off as fast as I could. Sometimes what works with a Hasbro figure does not always work, at least not to my eyes. Never looked to me like the original recoil was playing with poop, but this one did. So I washed the paint off and he just has the, uh, the green boots and hands. I went with the uh, new Marauder Task Force, uh, the contract ops, or no, agency ops, contract. They got these two new uh, types of figures. Contract Ops and Agency Ops, which are basically just like they sound, you know. I think this one is Ag Agency Ops, hence the uh, cool sunglasses. One of the cool things about uh, Recoil was always those cool green shades. If you can see those, check them out. I'm sure you remember, but I can get the light not to be on it. Those are cool, but I didn't really want to paint his glasses green because I thought uh, in modern times they'd look kind of redonkulous. So I left them just the nice cool black. I think they look really well. They just kind of fit. He looks like uh, he just sports those shades like a pimp. So I uh, went with that, hat, that head and a green hat to uh, match the green hat slash helmet, like almost minor hat style that uh, the original recoil had. I don't know what that hat is slash helmet. Uh, there's never been anything else like it. I've never seen anything made. The best I could do was basically a pretty cool green baseball cap, and I think it, you know, looks as close as you're going to get. His original backpack had a pretty cool antenna, so I decided to uh, rock this uh, old-school communicator's backpack. Looks just like something they would have worn in Vietnam, for God's sakes, but whatever. It's the only backpack I have with an antenna. Um, pretty basic figure. Went with the uh, tan and green pockets couple of black pockets to throw in a little bit more different color. Now I really dig these. These are some new ammo packs. See those on his back? Let's see them in the light. It's a five pocket pack of ammo. I thought that looked really cool on him. Good color. So I went with that. 
Uh, it's pretty much what we got going. I tried to make the gun, you know, a nice M16 looking type gun with a grenade launcher to uh, match the original. Gotta love that Revan engine in the background. Try to match the original gun as close as possible. See what, see how you think. And that's pretty much it. Oh, he just turned around. He's come back the other way. He's gonna come get you. That's my recoil. One of my favorite classic Joes. I added uh, some uh, uh, badge. It says sergeant. That's a sergeant badge. If you look him, if you look him up on yojo.com, he was a, I believe, E5 sergeant, and that's what that badge signifies. Uh, the the chevrons on his on his arm. Uh, hopefully, I didn't put him on completely the wrong arm or whatnot. If you're a military guy out there, and if I totally screwed it up, let me know because I can just rip it off. I don't think I'd be able to put it back on, but hey, I'd rather have him look correct than wrong. <laughs> All right, so that's my recoil. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on the socials. Tell me it sucks. Tell me it rocks. Either way, it's all good. Find me uh, Instagram, yeah, on uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere, actionfigurejunkie.com. Really appreciate you guys watching. Have a wonderful day, and as always, in parting, how do we do it?